Hi, this is Jack Spierko with the Ice Marketing Group, LLC, and today I'm going to go over a great way to monetize the Google Blogger blog that we've been showing you how to set up. I mean, it's great to have a blog. It's even better if that blog can produce a little bit of income for you. Uh, so what I want to do today is go over how to set up AdSense, which is a Google program uh, on your blog or blog. And Google's made it very easy to do. Obviously, it's probably in their best interest to do so. So what is AdSense? <coughs> If you don't have an AdSense account, you probably need to get one. And to get one, just go to google.com forward slash AdSense, A-D-S-E-N-S-E, -E, and click to apply, fill out a form, and you're going to need to have at least one website set up. If you have a Google Blogger blog set up, use that one, and you'll probably get approved almost immediately. Uh, and once you have it set up, you can then go ahead and, and do the, the, the next part of this exercise, which is actually going ahead and installing AdSense ads on your websites and on your blogs. So let's go back and actually look how to do that. Okay, I'm logged into the uh, Blogger account that I've set this little Chardonnay blog up under that we've been using throughout this uh, series of uh, lessons. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead into it. I'm going to click on Layout, which you'll probably recognize also from earlier lessons. And when you see how easy this is to do, um, it, it's really going to amaze you that you can actually turn some uh, mo uh, revenue generation onto your blog this quickly. Um, there are a couple little tricks that you need to be aware of, uh, and I'll kind of show you those as I go through it that will help you put the kind of ads you want, the size of the ads you want, and the type of ads you want, uh, where you want them. They've made it easy with drag and drop. They've also restricted some things. So let's take a look at what I mean by that. Okay, you can see that I can either add a page element in my column or down at my footer. I actually want to place the first block of ads right up here above my first post so it's above the fold so to speak so that when people get to my blog it's one of the first things they see because this isn't a blog I'm building a bunch of relationships with. This is a blog that really exists to give me links uh, and help my link power and hopefully make me just a little bit of money off the AdSense. So I want to get an ad unit where it is absolutely prominent. The way I'm going to do that is I'm going to start down here because I want a large ad unit and that'll make more sense to you as I show you to put the second and third units on why I'm starting down here. Now, once I click on Add a Page Element, I've got all these different options. And you'll notice that one of them is AdSense. I'm just going to click Add to Blog. Now, when I do that, I've been logged in here before with my AdSense Publisher ID, so it knows my ID, so it knows to give me credit for my advertising revenue. The first time you log in, it's going to ask you for your AdSense uh, email address and your uh, mailing zip code to make sure you are the publisher in question. And then once you do that the first time, this is what you'll always see. Now, there's a bunch of different uh, color schemes that I can use. But what Google's done, which is great, is something I teach people to do on their own websites, is create custom color palettes to blend in with your site. Well, the first option is Blend Template. I recommend that you just leave it there. There are other options. You can use a match, which looks more like ads. The key with AdSense is to make them look less like ads, not more like ads. So you can notice the blend. It's all white. There's no borders. It looks like content on the page. Again, that's going to make some more sense in a second. Now I'm going to click up here, and you'll see I have all these different sizes that I can install. The one I'm going to choose is 300 by 250, which is the biggest unit I can get. If you look down here, you'll see it's a very large ad unit. I'm going to end up putting this on top, and I, this is a unit that, that gets an awful lot of clicks simply because it takes up so much space and catches so much attention. So that's what I'm going to do right there. That's all I really need to do. Now I'm going to hit Save Changes. And my unit has now been installed on my footer. But this, remember, this is not where I want it. So I'm going to grab it. And I'm going to simply drag it right there up to the top. Now I'm going to click Save. Okay, so it's been saved. I'm going to go ahead and view my blog now that I've added this AdSense unit. And now you can see that these ads are being displayed on the top of my blog. And since I just added them for the first time, you can see they're really about blogging because they're not quite sure what to uh, put up yet. But now, just, just a few seconds later, now they're displaying ads about wine. So these are very relevant ads to my blog, and they should get a pretty good click-through rate. So now I've got one source of revenue on my site, one place where people, if they click, uh, they'll make me a little bit of money. It might be ten cents a click on, on a subject like this, maybe maybe a little less, maybe a little more, and it'll vary up and down. What I want to inform you right now to to never do if you're new to AdSense, 
Do not ever click on your own ads. Do not ask anybody to click on your own ads, and do not put anything on your blog that says to click on the ads. You need to leave them there as they are and let your visitors choose to or not to click. If you click on your own ads or you incentivize your visitors to click on your own ads, Google will shut you down, uh, and you will no longer have AdSense as a source of revenue. And that's a, a pretty big blow because AdSense is probably the best contextual revenue source that there is. So never click on your own ads. Let's go add two more ad units to this page. I'm going to go back in here. I'm going to now add a Google AdSense unit over here in my right-hand column. I'm going to add a different type of AdSense unit. I'm going to add what's called a link unit. So when I come up here to the format, again, I've got... Now, here's what I wanted to show you before I go and do this. Notice that the big ad unit that I added on the footer is not available here. Uh, these are very narrow ads because they fit the column. So, so that's why when I wanted a big unit for my top, I started with a footer and then drug it up to the top. So now if I want a smaller ad unit, I can do it over here and drag it anywhere I want. But I want to go down here and take a link unit. I'm going to take the bigger of the two link units. It's 200 uh, high by 90 pixels wide. I'm going to select that. You see, these are just links. All right. I'm going to hit save. And they've been added to my blog. And... I find link units work a little better if you don't quite put them at the very top, if you kind of blend them into your navigation structure. So my archive links will be here, my about link, the latest news, that type of thing. I'm going to hit save. Let's go look at my blog again. You can see over here there's, there's nothing displayed under between blog archive and about me. I'm going to hit refresh. And as the blog reloads, you'll now see that these link units as they're called, blend very well in. Now, if somebody were to click on one of these, they'll actually go to a listing of Google results that are 100% sponsored results, and if they click through from there, uh, I'll then earn a price per click. And every if they were to back up and like check out multiple different um, advertisers from that Google page, I would earn for every single click. So sometimes link units are one of the more profitable uh, AdSense units to use. Not always, but definitely sometimes. So now what I want to do next, I want to go ahead and let's go ahead and surround this blog and put some ad units down here in the footer. So by now, that should be real clear what to do. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to add one more link unit. We want to add it right up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say add page element again. This time I'm going to choose what ends up always being the default if you pick the bottom. which is the 468 by 60 banner, which is this rectangular unit here, and it fits really nice in that spot that I want to add it. I'm going to stick with the blend template. I'm going to hit Save Changes. Okay, now, I want to show you something. If I were to leave that unit where it is right now at the very bottom, it's way down in, a, in the footer, and it's really designed down there to be used for, like, tracking scripts and all. You can see this is just not going to work very well. It's, it's not part of the content. It's down here by itself just hanging out. So what I want to do is I want to go ahead and grab it, and I want to drag it up and drop it right there. I'm going to save it. And again, I'm going to go ahead and do a refresh. And again, now I've got these ad units right into the blog itself. And when I go into an individual post, what I end up with is that individual post, instead of this long front page of the blog, actually surrounded by ads so that I'm giving my user an opportunity at every turn to click on an ad. And the more opportunity I give them, the more clicks I'll get, and the more money I'm going to make. So here we have two ads. We have an ad unit. And then down here, right below the comments, we have more ads. And these ads will get more relevant over time. Uh, again, right now they're kind of vacillating between actual wine ads and blog ads. So it'll take a little while for the system to realize that this is about wine and Chardonnay, and then those ads will get more relevant. More relevant ads equal greater click-through. So that's how you do it. It's not really hard. I recommend that you get AdSense units onto your blogger blogs, especially if you're building a bunch of blogger blogs, mainly for the purposes of building link power and creating some viral marketing to push to another site. It's a great additional source of revenue, and uh, please tune in to the next lesson. And we'd like to thank you for watching this video. This video was copyright 2007 by the ICE Marketing Group, LLC. For more videos and to learn how you can be a more successful Internet marketer, visit www.marketingice.com.